Hi guys, so after weeks and even months of pleading from the haulage industry and numerous other sectors, it seems the Brexit government has finally decided to listen and perhaps do something about the shortage of heavy goods vehicle drivers. Well, not really. So instead of taking a pragmatic approach to all of this, the Tories just want to tweak around the edges of the problem. Boris Johnson's government is to announce some changes to the heavy goods vehicle driver testing process. This is expected on Thursday. Not the tweaking, but news about the tweaking. According to reports, it says it wants to fast-track drivers into the industry to deal with this chronic shortage which is causing massive problems. It seems that during recent meetings with hauliers and suppliers, the Brexit penny has finally dropped, and government officials have now come to the realisation that things are not going to get any better Frankly, they're going to get much worse unless urgent action is taken. So they're going to fast track testing. Okay. As we've seen, these supply chain problems are causing massive disruption across a whole range of sectors, including critical ones like food, drink and medicines. Remember Project Fear from some years ago? A source from the haulage industry told the media, and I quote, The government seemed to finally understand the scale of the problem. For the first time, they look rattled. So what is this grand solution going to involve? Well, the Department of Transport are proposing combining Class C tests used for rigid lorries with Class E tests for articulated lorries into a single test. At the moment, anywhere from two to three weeks minimum must pass before taking the two tests. Now, the haulage industry has been warning of a perfect storm of Brexit, which has meant a mass exodus of drivers, combined with a retiring workforce, and a pandemic meaning delays to testing new drivers. This has resulted in supply chains coming to a grinding halt. Haulage companies are facing unfulfilled orders due to the lack of drivers available. They've reacted positively to this news, but fear that it will be too little too late to fix the massive gap that currently exists. As I've mentioned before, the haulage industry has been calling for the government to add drivers to the shortage occupation list. This would allow them to bring in staff from the EU much easier and much faster. But the government so far has rejected the idea. The sector believes that if heavy goods vehicle drivers were added to the list, it would mean an extra 20,000 EU drivers being available to operate. A spokesman for one distribution company said, and I quote, We don't put newly qualified drivers straight behind the wheel on their own. We buddy them up with experienced drivers for the first 8 to 10 weeks. And the insurance costs for new drivers are also much higher. We desperately need to put HGV drivers on the list of skilled workers we can bring in from abroad. So how many new drivers could be tested under the new government regime? Well, it could be as much as 3,000 if you believe the government estimates. Remember, this is tested not qualified drivers. What am I talking about? The current pass rate for drivers is about 56%. The tests are pretty difficult, meaning that just over half of the 3,000 would actually pass. So that's not too bad, is it? The problem is that drivers aren't machines. They need time off, and some of them have decided to leave the industry for numerous reasons. The Road Haulage Association said the sector is losing about 600 drivers a week. They predict that it would take about two years to fill the gap. The current shortages are causing major concern in the haulage sector. And they're even more worried about the Christmas season, which is just around the corner. This is a time when the UK is at its most reliant on EU imports. I have said this before. The government could have acted in a pragmatic way and dealt with these issues in a serious manner. However, Brexit mentality gets in the way, and minor tweaking instead of wholesale reform is chosen instead. Perhaps the penny is finally dropping, and some in Whitehall are waking up to the reality of Brexit. However, we are now over eight months in, and many Brexiteers are still trying to place the blame on the pandemic. I don't know what it will frankly take for Boris Johnson himself to realise what the hell is going on. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.